Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. hey uh. <laughs> so we're going to have this conversation. Come on, have it. Sean's just going to listen. I know she's not going to be quiet, though. No, she's not. Yeah. So she's everybody's not. been talking about this Netflix docuseries, and it is a docuseries, meaning someone actually lived this life. I want to know what the hell I was doing when this was going on. <laughs> the this Tiger was. King. Yeah. Sure, where'd you go? Now my mouth, Jerry, my mouth was like this the whole time. I, just, for, I didn't know what to expect because, like I was telling you earlier, they just kept talking about it. I'm just like, what is this mess? It's probably something yeah. boring. Yeah. And people, I kept hearing a buzz about it on Facebook, of course. So I said, why not? I'm quarantined. I'm in the house. Sure. He said, why well, not? I'm first. Yeah, you know, <laughs> after that first episode, I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. Right. Like, I liked it, but it was nuts. It was wow. So we got to give LaShawn a backstory. So here's this tiger wrangler that's in, is he in Oklahoma? Yeah, Oklahoma, yeah. He's in Oklahoma. Can you guess what race it is? Don't worry about it. So anyway. That's it. He, he, Start with a car and Asian. He was <laughs> he, he, he's, gay. he's a gay man. Yeah. Siegfried um, Roy. With a mullet. Siegfried and Roy. Two husbands. Siegfried and Roy. Who were straight? Who was right? Mm -hmm. They were straight. Mm -hmm. Um, and what he did was he raised tigers. He had what 200 and some tigers. Yeah, it was one of the biggest fed parts. Them cats, fed them. So the, the 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 whole gist of the story, the meat and potatoes of the story is he has this arch nemesis, Karen Baskins. Carol. Ka what? Karen, Carol, okay. Carol. <laughs> Carol Baskins. Carol yeah. Baskins. Carol Baskins is this weird woman who also likes tigers, and she started her own little farm to save tigers, but... Was, her story is weird. I don't want to give it away. Just yeah, because we had I don't. Story. I don't understand because if you think about it, she was doing the same thing he, he was doing, doing the exact same thing, right? So what's the difference? You know, um, because just, he was a man, he was gay, and he had he, he, he had, was, had a lot of buzz. Lashawn, let me just tell you, you know this show is something. If OJ Simpson has something to say. They bought OJ from the dead. This woman's husband disappeared. He was a millionaire. Yes. This woman's husband disappeared. Out of nowhere. And Joe Exotic, who is the uh, Tiger King, I was about to call him the Lion King. I ate him. I was about to call him the Lion King. <laughs> Tiger King mm -hmm. says that he thinks Carol killed her husband. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna watch it tonight. OJ Simpson, watch it. OJ Simpson said, "I know with every shred of my body that her husband then turned into some tiger, turned into some tiger sushi, bro. I don't think you need to be commenting on anybody oh. or anybody. Well, why not? Exactly. He to be the last. OJ person. would know. He's because who writes a book? I didn't kill her, but if I did, I would do it this way. Come on, OJ. I'm take a sip. Yeah, like, he's a killer. Like, more guilty. Yeah, telling But anyways, we don't listen to OJ. Sorry. What did you think about it, Jerry? Watching it, I didn't expect for it to be like that. Like I said, I just thought it was just going to be some documentary on just tigers. At first, I thought it was just tigers, and then Jerry I'm like, oh, tiger king. You know, I just thought it was I didn't know what to expect i didn't expect that it was just so interesting and intriguing um those tigers are absolutely beautiful they are gorgeous those tigers but you know raising them as babies and um you know just seeing like he actually Selling lived them. with them yeah and pet them yes you know making money Make making nice money you know and just seeing the stuff that carol did and looking at the other guy who had the little part in uh, South Carolina? It was Myrtle Beach, yeah. And then the the drug lord, you know, they went Girl. in like they did good on this documentary. They did a lot of background information, 
And um, then when the new guy came in, because Joe was like a scammer and he had to put the park in his name and he, he did him wrong, it was a lot. It was crazy. Then None of the rest of the got nothing. Oh, my you know God. What? I got to watch this because when you hear black people talk about tigers and it's African-Americans and not Africans talking about tigers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, when you hear like regular folk from the hood talk about tigers, Yes. And not it's nobody scary. from Nigeria or Zimbabwe talking no. about tigers. This was hey, wild. Talk, I'm going to watch Live. this. So, the thing, so here's the thing. The controversy is this. I think all of this ended in like 2017. Yes. Um, the man ended up going to jail. And now he is singing like a canary. Telling everything. So the officials have reopened the cold case. Disappeared. Her husband disappeared in like 2007 or something like that. And uh, Joe well, she didn't do was it. like, where'd he go? Yeah, if she didn't do it, then she it. knew. Music video. If she knew who did it, if she didn't do it herself, she knew exactly what happened. Like, he just vanishes out of nowhere. And then the part where his daughters and the ex-wife was talking and how he put the restraining order on her and um how you know he was a millionaire so he wanted to protect his estate wait um, this is she was though this is how she was <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, i don't understand why everybody's so angry i just I mean, you was a young 20 something year old woman who Here, took that man's husband and he's a millionaire Oh, she took him from another dude. Yes, yeah, she was the white. He was married already to the one lady, the older woman. And sun shining around, huh? He's sun shining. Yeah, remember on uh, Harlem Nights, he called her. Oh, oh, for real. <laughs> <laughs> like that. But, and, he, and they <laughs> they been solving them cold cases. Let me tell you, I watched a whole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they on Netflix called Cold Case Files. They were solving cases from 27 years ago. So I wouldn't be surprised if this case was solved. You know what I mean? She needs but, to go and, and other three Tiger Wranglers need to go. I know this is not it, it's just something that everybody is talking about. Everyone it is a bizarre crazy. story. That, and I'm surprised you haven't watched it, LaShawn. No. no. It's good. Yeah, it's you know, like, like during, it. during this COVID-19 pandemic i've really been getting my sleep so i don't um like i'll read i've been reading more books mm -hmm. and going to sleep at a decent time and getting up and like really getting up and washing my behind and going to work netflix mm -hmm. is for this situation yeah. and netflix has put more stuff on tv be, you know now yeah. that this has happened so my question to you i'm gonna watch it this. do you feel bad for joe exotic yes I do too. Not a hundred percent. Not a hundred percent. I kind of feel bad, Loki. But no, no, no. I don't feel bad because, and Lashawn, just cover your ears. He <laughs> knew you cannot publicly threaten to kill somebody. That part, yeah, several yeah. times, and yeah. then get blamed for attempting to kill the person you threatened publicly to kill. Yeah, that part I don't feel sorry for him because he knew what he was doing i feel bad about the whole thing with him losing his park and mm -hmm. you know because he really loved them animals and like you know he started from he was <laughs> explaining how you know he built that and it was just something small and it turned to be something big like i feel bad as far as him like losing everything you yeah. know like that part i do feel bad i'm just like damn like and then he had just turn it over like i said to that other guy and yeah. he was doing shady you know what i mean but that's some rich people i don't want to give too much away no, like sean you have to watch it it's i'll probably okay. watch it but you know i'm just used to people just walking out you don't want to be together let's just walk out you ain't gotta kill me sean when you watch it i need you every, at the end of every episode i need you to group text us with a comment yeah. just yeah. one line Oh, and, and then watch the next episode. It's eight. Hey, shut up, girl. You watch yeah. more episodes than that. You know, the, the last time I watched a show that had a lot of episodes was that R. Kelly thing. Uh, yeah. I was late on that. Everybody else seen it, and I watched it. And I said, Oh my god, 
Yeah. yeah. We were on the Did Aura do that? Finish up the first one. Mm. You know he's trying to get out of jail. I say now. Him and him and Bill Cosby are trying to get out. Takashi Six Nine got out. He's getting an early early release. Oh yeah, because he um, don't. I don't see the problem. I don't know. No. I don't. Now I stop. If Bill Cosby gets out, then R. Kelly would have to get out, and Harvey Weinstein would have to get out, and Harvey Weinstein actually had coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. So he say. Yeah. He wants if people to get out. They all gotta get out, and they're nonviolent offenders. Yeah. Um, well, to who? True. Yeah. They're nonviolent uh, offenders, so let them out. The, the Where crazy is the thing. Going? The crazy thing if R if Ara gets out, there's actually going to be people following him. There's yeah. He's not going anywhere. Going after him. He's not going anywhere. You know, he doesn't have to. Now, before he used to go and he used to prey on them. Now they are. They don't come to him. Mm -hmm. That is the scary thing. Bill Cosby, nothing's going to happen too much with Bill Cosby. You know, nobody really, well, you know. But Harvey Weinstein, Harvey would probably get killed if he'd get out, I think. I mean, yeah, because he. Or Kelly out. There's still people rocking with him. I don't know. There's still people rocking with him. Like, I don't know. I don't know what that will happen. But then again, his little girlfriend singing also like a canary, you know, that one. That's uh, real. Yeah. And you hear she's coming out with a, a documentary or something like that. Or, yeah. For the money. And then she made a song talk about you knew I was underage. Yeah, I'm not sort of bull crap. But, I don't worry. All right. So, we're going to go crazy. into. Um, I have a scenario I need you guys to 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 um Call you back. check in with. So we're gonna take a break and then okay. we're gonna we'll talk. But we ain't on a 40 minute joint, are we? Huh? We ain't on a 40 minute joint because it's 40 minutes. No. <laughs> oh, you got the uh No. She paid for her. Uh, shut up. Anyway, <laughs> it's the Hey Girl Hey Podcast, Urban Media. Hey girl. Hey, yeah. Good night.